Revelation chapter 19, that is the stop of chapter end of chapter 18. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you once again for today. Even as we continue to study the word, Father, we pray you help us understand your word, make your word come alive. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So by right, chapter 18, we read about the destruction of the great Babylon, which is the city. And the city of Babylon, which kills the people of God, the prophets of God. So chapter 19, actually, the first paragraph talk about a great rejoicing in heaven. Why they rejoice? Because the people of God has been revenged. Right? Because this city actually is a very wicked city. that kills a lot of the people of God. Okay? And all the elders in heaven also rejoice and worship God. Okay, now we go to chapter, uh, no, verse 5. Okay, verse 5. Uh, just now who's going to read verse 5? The wedding feast of the Lamb. Then they came from the throne, the sound of the voice saying, Praise our God, all his servants and all people, both great and small, who have paid our hands upon him. Verse 6. Okay. 
Okay, next. Who's done? Verse, uh, the rider of the white throne, verse 11. Prophet. They will be 
they will be and all those who worship the image of the beast and also those who have the mark of the beast they will be thrown back you know they are not thrown into hell eh? actually they are thrown into the lake of fire where they will be burned continuously it's worse than hell okay hell is where the devil comes up and but the, this is called the lake of fire lake of fire then so the beast and the false prophet and all those who worship will be destroyed all the armies will be killed and they will be thrown into the lake of fire. All the others will be killed by the sword that comes from the mouth of the one who was riding on them. It means all the others will also be killed. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord. We pray that we will not be among those who worship the beast, have the mark of the beast, but we will be the ones who will be riding on the white horses, wearing the white ribbons together with Jesus when he comes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And we say, Jesus, come 